up guys, it's Kelly and today I am doing a haul video for you. This is actually not a nail polish haul, I'm doing a makeup haul. You guys might have gathered that I really like makeup and I'm into makeup, but I feel like I always spend so much money. So I actually heard about a website called Shop Hush and they sell all these like really inexpensive makeup palettes, a lot of dupes for really popular high-end brands and I got a bunch of them and I wanted to share them with you guys. It's like 15 things, it was less than $120, which I feel like is crazy because you could go into Sephora and easily drop $100 on three items or less. <laughs> Depending on what you're getting, I should stop playing with this. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I got a bunch of eyeshadow palettes just because I'm a sucker for eyeshadow palettes. Some highlighting stuff, some contouring stuff. A lot of it is stuff that I wanted but couldn't justify paying for because I was like, uh, it's just so expensive, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be telling you guys what each thing is a dupe of, if it's a dupe, and showing you guys, I don't know, swatches? I don't I don't do makeup videos that often, but maybe maybe this could be the start of a beautiful uh, makeup world. Okay, let's just get started. So the shop is called Hush. The website is shophush.com and they actually did give me a discount code for my followers. So if you guys use the code Kelly10, you can get 10% off. I'll write it somewhere on the screen and I'll also put it in the description so you guys can check that out. But yeah, so let's just jump right into it. I wrote some notes on the receipt of what each thing is a dupe of. So if I'm, I'm looking down, that's me. I'm just trying to read my own handwriting, which is really a disaster. So the first thing that I want to show you is upside down. This is the Beauty Creations Boudoir. Is that how you pronounce it? Boudoir. So this brand, Beauty Creations, is a big brand on their website and they have a ton of different dupes. I think I got a couple other things in here from the same brand. This brand is cruelty free. So this is in the shade. This one is called the Cheeky Palette. So it's in like a little box. I never know what to do with these boxes. You know what I mean? Like do I throw them out? I guess I'm gonna throw them out, right? I'm just gonna, just gonna toss that gently on the floor. So this, Ooh, I always wondered why beauty gurus always cover up the mirror, and I guess it's because all the light will just shine right back and really just mess up the screen. Okay, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's nine different shades, five of them are mattes, and four of them are shimmers. So the thing that attracted me to this palette, first of all, warm tones, everybody loves them. Second of all, it's enough stuff to create multiple complete looks. So like you have that light enough color that's like an all over your lid, so you can set whatever you use to prime your lid. It's got the black, so that you can use like those really dark edges and then it has all different kinds of really nice shimmers so let me go in with a little cream guy oh, oh nice shimmery guy these are like super opaque on my fingers and the cool thing about them like I, i'm kind of i was expecting a lot of these i've already touched a lot of these with my fingers a lot of these i was sort of expecting them to feel a little bit chalkier but they're surprisingly really high quality this put let me try to put it on my hands and then how am i going to show you guys because i Okay, I'm just gonna do close-ups. This is not a dupe for anything. It has a similar name to the Too Faced Boudoir Shadows, if that's how you pronounce it. I feel like somebody in the comments is gonna be like, you're an idiot, that's not how you pronounce that word at all. But whatever. It is a really inexpensive palette, so like I said, you get those nine colors and it is $12. Up next, we have another Beauty Creations palette. This one is called the Butterfly Palette. Again, it's got one of these sleevey things, which I guess I'm just gonna throw out. So this is another eyeshadow palette from Beauty Creations. Again, this one says it is cruelty free. This is another complete palette. So this one actually has 15 shades in it. Eight of them are mattes, and seven of them are shimmers. This is like the perfect smoky eye palette, you know what I mean? This one, again, is not a dupe, but they have a one Warm tone version of this that's the exact dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. It's like the same names and everything, but since I got the Cheeky palette, I thought it would be smarter to get the cool toned one because I don't know, I just want to have like a nice diverse grouping of products. <laughs> the quality of this one is definitely the same. It feels really nice and buttery and creamy in my hands. And yeah, I'm a fan of it. So this one is actually cheaper than the Cheeky palette that I just showed you guys. This one is only $9 and same for the Modern Renaissance dupe. And I think the Modern Renaissance palette is like $40. So if you can get a dupe for $9, I mean, I, I'd take that deal. <laughs> Up next, we have another brand that they have a lot on the Hush website. And this is called Ocalon, Ocalon. Ooh, I shouldn't. 
I should know how to pronounce it, Ocalan. The accent is on the L, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna call it Ocalan for the purposes of this video, but I'm not really sure entirely what it is. So this is their contouring palette. It comes in a really nice, like tin sort of thing. I feel like this is what the Naked palettes used to come in. I don't know if this is an exact dupe of anything, but it's just like your basic highlight contour palette situation going on here. This one is $12. It feels, whoa, oh my God. It feels so soft. It feels so soft and creamy. Wow, for a second when I stuck my finger in, I was like, oh my God, did I get a cream one? But this is powder. Oh, and they have like little highlight and contour instructions on the back, which is nice. Coming up next, we have another Ocalon product. This one, again, comes in a sleeve, which is going out the window. This is the Glowing Palette Shimmers Kit. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Palette, and it's just a six highlight palette of all these really beautiful, cool tones. And the cool thing about this palette is you can actually take out the pans. So if you have like one of those magnetic palettes, you can just stick some of these in there and you don't have to just carry around this whole palette. I really wanted that highlight palette, but it is $40, which I feel like is really expensive for highlights. So I thought this was really cool. These ones I have noticed when I was just playing around with them, like they feel really buttery, but there's a lot of fallout in the palette but still it's super super pigmented super opaque really really beautiful colors so i'm actually really excited to try this because i've never used like a cool tone highlight before and this is also 12 dollars See, I feel like the cool thing is that you're finding like a bunch of palettes that are like around $10 price point, which I feel like is so nice, like especially because I feel like these are a little bit above drugstore brand, but they're still at a low enough cost that you can like pay for them like the drugstore, you know what I mean? Okay, moving on to another highlighting palette. This is the Rude Highlighting Shimmer Trio, and again, comes in a sleeve. <laughs> This is also labeled as cruelty free, so this brand is sold on the Shop Hush website, but I found out that this is also in some other stores, including Walmart. The interesting thing about that is at Walmart, this palette costs more money, and I, I would say the other things too that I found, they cost more money at places like Walmart than on the Shop Hush website, plus 15% off, so that's pretty cool. So this is makeup with an attitude. Ooh, I like that. And I never know what to do with these things either. Do you guys throw them out or do you keep them? I understand they're like a protective sleeve. But what do you do with it? I don't know. This is not an exact dupe as far as I know of anything. We've just got like a nice golden one, we've got a bronzy one, and then we've got almost like a pinky toned blushy one. So this might actually be a dupe of something, but I couldn't find anything online. And these ones don't feel as buttery as the Oblon palette with the cool tone shimmers in it, but they still feel really nice. It's really pigmented. So on the Walmart website, I saw that this was $12. On the Hush website, this is only $9. Okay, up next we have the most expensive thing that I got on the website, which is this beautiful big beast of a palette right here. This is the Ocalon Pressed Pigment Palette. And if you're thinking that this box looks a little bit familiar, that is because it is an exact dupe of the Alice in Wonderland palette from Urban Decay. It's got all the same, you can see this is the box again. It's got all of the same colors. It's got all the same names of the colors. One funny thing I noticed is the color Looking Glass. I actually says Luling Glass. <laughs> That's how you know it's a dupe. So the one cool thing about this, now the Urban Decay palette from the Alice in Wonderland movie was actually a limited edition. So I don't think it's available anymore. And I didn't end up getting it just because A, it was super expensive and B, I heard that the actual palette was really bulky. It had like a huge butterfly in it and I like was not a fan of that. So this one's cool in that it just, it's got a mirror, but it just has the colors and it also comes with a double-sided brush. The colors are stunning, like wow. Really glad that I ended up getting this cheaper one. So this one is $20. I'm not sure how much the Urban Decay palette was. Oh my God, these ones feel so nice. Colors are really beautiful. There's a nice mix of matte and shimmer in here. And then you've got some really super sparkly ones. Definitely excited about this palette. I think it's really beautiful. I haven't even looked at this brush yet, but I'll take any and all brushes that I can get. <laughs> the next one that I 
I have for you guys is the Ocalon Sailor Palette eyeshadow. So this one is actually an exact dupe of the Lime Crime Venus Palette. So it's got eight colors in it. Two of them are shimmers. One of them's like super glittery. And then there are five matte shades and it's super colorful. It definitely was the first thing on the website that caught my eye. So I was really excited about it. Not just like the packaging, which is beautiful, but also just the colors themselves. I didn't even know about the Lime Crime Palette, but I definitely like the price point of this one a lot better. So the Lime Crime Palette is $34 and this one is $14. Definitely getting it for a lot cheaper. Again, the pigmentation is insane. Like I cannot wait to use this. Like I want to do a full makeup look with just this palette. It's so beautiful. The colors are the exact same with the same names as well. I, I think out of all of these, like I, I feel like the Ogalon ones are like the most beautiful dupes and the beauty creations feel the best to me. Like just the creaminess of them. So the next thing that I got is not makeup but nail polish because I can't go to any store without getting nail polish. So these are the Santi Mirror Effect nail polishes. I got them in gold and I got them in rose gold. It's not called rose gold, it's called champagne. So these are in like these crazy mirror bottles. I'm not sure if they're actually claiming to be mirror effect, but I did look it up before I got them and I saw that they were just like super bright chromes. And I really love getting like metallic chrome polishes. These are really good for stamping. Just in general, I, I haven't tried these ones specifically, but I know the metallic polishes are awesome for stamping. So that's what I'm really excited to use these for, especially because I feel like I do not have a rose gold champagne from polish like this. I just, I think it's going to be gorgeous. Okay, so up next we have the natural color eyeshadow palette from Ocalon. So this is again in like another one of those tin container thingies. So this one will probably look Ow. This one will probably look a little bit familiar to you because it looks just like the Too Faced Bonbon bon palette. So there are actually two different versions of this palette. They had the day version and the night version. I ended up getting the night version. This is the exact same colors and the exact same names as the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette, but it has the same layout and look with like the little heart pans as the Bon Bon palette. So I thought it was just really cute. It's a lot cheaper. This is only $10 and the chocolate bar palettes are $49. They feel really nice and buttery, especially in this palette specifically. The creams feel so nice. Like I said, they have the day version, but I'm not sure which one that is a dupe of. I'm just guessing it's a dupe of just the regular chocolate bar palette. And that's it for the dupes and the palettes that I got, but I got a couple extra little fun things. This is the Beauty Treats Sugar Lip Scrub, and I got it in watermelon scent slash flavor. Oh, that smells so good. It literally just smells like a sugary watermelon. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really excited because I feel like my lips get so insanely dry. It's crazy. This is again cruelty free. Dental scrub made of natural sugars to exfoliate lips and leave them feeling soft and smooth. This lip scrub is $2. I can't resist something that's $2. All right, so up next we have another brood product. This is a mascara. It's called the Obnoxious Volume Mascara. So this one looks a lot like the Maybelline, which is a drugstore brand in itself, so I don't know that they even needed to dupe it. I just wanted to try a new mascara because you guys know I'm like tired of spending 20 plus dollars on a mascara for the same thing as like a $5 mascara. So this one is a $5, so I'll let you guys know what I think of it. And then last but certainly not least, I have the Italia Deluxe brand Ultra Fine Eyeliners, and I got them in gold and blue. I just thought they were really beautiful colors. They feel really nice when I apply them. I've always wanted to try really colorful eyeliners, but I feel like every time I go into Sephora, I'm like, these are a little pricey. These ones are $2 each, so I just picked up a couple, and I'm excited to try them and introduce color into my life, because I never use color. But yeah, so that is actually it for this haul. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you want me to do any makeup looks or anything like that using these products, definitely let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I will put a link to all the stuff that I got in the description and you can also use the code KELLY10 for 10% off your entire order at the Hush website. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you want more makeup stuff. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because we have fun. So that's it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm kind of digging the eye makeup that I did today. Like I'm feeling like it's a little bit industrial chic. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the first time I have ever used actual glitter in my eye makeup for its eye safe glitter.
but I'm pretty excited about it. So if you guys want to see how I did this, then let me know in the comments too. If you're new to my channel, at the end of each video with my face in it, I share a fun fact. So today's fun fact is going to be a little personal fact about me because, I mean, they're always personal facts about me. This one's near and dear to my heart. So I actually have always wanted to be, like ever since I was like, I remember I was six years old and I wanted to be a writer. Uh, oh, I just spoiled it. <laughs> yeah, so for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a writer. Writing specifically like fiction novels. And that's something that I've just always wanted to do. And I, I've always been writing my whole life. I love reading, I read all the time. And I'm constantly like reading multiple books. I've always been writing too. And actually for the last few years, I've been writing a fiction book. <laughs> And I don't know what's ever gonna happen with it, but it's definitely like my favorite thing that I've ever done in my life. And I'm always working on it, literally always. It's just, it's taken a while just because there's so much to it. And um, I don't have that much time, <laughs> but I just try to dedicate like a little bit of time every day to it. And yeah, I don't know, maybe someday I'll be an author. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, that's your fun fact for today. That's all you guys get. So I'll talk to you later, bye.